The organizers also offer massages for 550 kuna, tattooing, tattooing's thrown in there for 600, and one additional night on the island, an additional night. What 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 is included on the on the additional night? Oh, okay. Hey, you guys. Hope everything's okay. Just um. Just watching uh, Eat Predators daily. Um, I don't think I want to get like copyright claims, so I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be watching and just commenting. I'm gonna be watching um my my absolute favorite to actually my actually bleh, my favorite YouTube channel. This is my favorite YouTube channel. This is it's actually I'm actually learning a lot learning a lot about how to it's I mean I this is a thing um that I've learned learned throughout throughout my life. Um I've learned just how to how you need to respect women how you need to respect women and their boundaries women have boundaries um and you need to respect that uh i've learned that man i've learned that man uh over over the past few years i've really learned that women women have boundaries um now I, I'm not saying I, I understand. I understand women, because you know no man will ever understand women. No man will ever understand women. No man will ever understand women. Um, but you know you understand that they do have boundaries. Um. Especially, uh, especially if they're a survivor. If especially if they're a survivor of of um of s a of s a um i'm a survivor myself uh well not a survivor of of you know not a survivor of s a but i'm a survivor of of you know a r uh that's a story that i want to get into eventually um and i've i've had to i've had to keep that in for years i've had to keep that a secret for years um i was told that i couldn't tell anyone about it i couldn't tell anyone about it um I think I might have been like five years. I think I might have been like maybe five years old, maybe nine or ten. I I don't know. But um, I was a little kid. Um, but anyway, here we go. Uh, listening to um. I I love this. I love this because I, I agree with Alexa Nicholas. Jared Leto is beyond creepy. Is beyond creepy, and really, both things are offensive. So he literally sent the entire cast of Suicide Squad condoms, and he sent one guy the severed head of a pig. I mean, and she said, "Which which one is more creepy? Both are creepy, but the but the severed but the you know but the severed head of the pig, but the severed head of the dead pig, even way more creepy, way more creepy, way more creepy. I I mean I, oh. Hey, this is all just for money, in my opinion. I mean, this is pretty." This is taking fandom to, like, a whole other level. During the first four years, it has been held in America under the name... Oh, so he's been doing this before the Croatia. It's called Camp Mars? What? 
Amp Mars, the festival came 2019 when the price was slightly lower. Recall two years ago, some fans were disappointed because although mm. they were expecting concerts, Leto then rented the island to preach to them. Does anyone have footage? If you find any footage of what Jared Leto preaches to his female fans um, on this island or at Camp Mars, please drop it into the Reddit or send it at epredators at gmail because I really am curious what he is saying. The photos were a large group of people is seen sitting and listening to the musician have caused a lot of ridicule because all the participants have to wear completely white clothes. And Jared Leto nurtures the image of Jesus Christ. They resemble a cult, which Leto himself embraced as a joke and wrote next to the published photo, yes, this is a cult. You know. Okay, going as far as to call yourself Christ and saying, hey, this is a cult. Yeah. You're you're creepy. You're very creepy. Sorry, but you're you're one hundred percent creepy, and I'm trying to I'm trying to decide whether whether he's going like full Jim Jones or whether he's going like or whether he's going for like full Manson, full Charles Manson. I don't I don't know I don't know really. I honestly don't know. Huh. You know, I don't, I mean, I don't know if I want to say this per se, but like, kind of makes me wonder, you know, when we were talking about NDAs earlier, you know, sometimes, and I'm not talking about Jared Leto right now, like even specifically, but sometimes when we haven't heard anything, right, we're like, why haven't, why haven't it really come to the surface yet? Um, you know, there are mm. NDAs and mm. stuff like that. And I'm not saying that Jared Leto has that situation, but it's pretty shocking to me that there really is, like, I had to really dig to find these things. You know, it's not, it's not like Vogue was talking about this, right? It wasn't like Rolling Stone is necessarily publishing these articles. Mm. It was hard to find them. And it's just pretty wild that this guy is still just... I mean, Dylan Sprouse had to call him out. <laughs> that to me, Dylan Sprouse calling out Jared Leto is. I, I'm I'm down with that actually. Yeah, a cult is a predator. A cult is a predator. Mm. I love that, mm. Juliet. Yeah, that is. God, this has been a while. I've never been speechless like this before. Out of all of the people I have done episodes about, this is the first time that I'm like truly speechless just about the the public knowledge of of his behavior and his professional life and his weird personal life is just pretty wild let's check it. i want to check out his tiktok like what is his fucking i want to check it out. i haven't checked out his tiktok like what's going on here in his um whoa okay let's your next date Okay, let's look at this one. I don't know. Let's just pick a random one. I'm just curious to see. Are you working? Why aren't you working? Returning to Sight and Sound Theaters in Britain. Mm -hmm. 